Lesson 11.3, Problem Solving Direct Comparison. We compare two objects that start on the same line to find which is longer than, shorter than, or about the same length or height. When we need to compare lengths, we use a vertical line, that's this line right here, that goes up and down, and this line helps us to see which object is longer or shorter because they start at the same place. And the length tells us how long something is. And we can see that this orange scissors is longer because it sticks out farther. We line them both up on the line so they start at the same place. And the one that sticks out farther is the longer object. And when we need to compare heights, we compare how tall two things are. We use a horizontal line, that's this line down here that goes across like a floor, and this line will help us to see which object is taller or shorter because they start at the same place. And we can see Sam is taller. His head goes up to here. Emma's head only goes up to here. Here we have two horses. We can line up both horses on the same line. Now we can see which horse's head is lower or higher to see which horse is taller or shorter. We need to circle the taller horse. Do you know which horse is taller? If you said this horse is taller, you're right. His head goes up to here. This horse is taller than this horse. We need to circle this horse. He's taller. Here are two crayons standing up. We can see they begin on the same line. Is the purple crayon taller than, shorter than, or about the same height as the green crayon? Do you think this purple one is taller, shorter, or about the same height as the green one? If you said about the same height, you're correct. They start at the same place. They both end at about the same height. They're about the same height. Here we have two fish and they both start on the same line, we need to circle the longer fish. Do you know which fish is the longer fish? If you said the goldfish, you're right. It sticks out farther than the green fish. We need to circle the longer fish. We're gonna circle the goldfish. It's longer than the green fish. Here we have a purple cube train and a yellow cube train. Which cube train is shorter? Is the purple one shorter or is the yellow one shorter? If you said the purple one, you're right. It doesn't stick out as far as the yellow cube train, so it's shorter. Now what would happen if we lined them up on this horizontal line? What if we moved them? Would the purple one still be shorter? Yes, the purple one is shorter. The shorter cube train or cube tower will have fewer cubes. This one has one, two, three, four, five cubes. And the yellow one has one, two, three, four, five, six cubes. The purple tower has fewer cubes. It's shorter. And we changed them from laying down when they were over here to compare their lengths. And the purple one was shorter because it still had five cubes and the yellow one still has six cubes.
the number of their cubes didn't change. The only thing that changed was the direction we put them. Now they're standing up. They still have five cubes for the purple one and six cubes for the yellow one. The purple cube tower is shorter. So remember, when we compare lengths, we lay them down like this using a line that goes up and down. And when we compare heights, we put them on a line like a floor and see which one is taller, which one is shorter. Our next lesson, 11.4, we're going to compare weights. That means we're going to compare if one object is heavier than another object. I hope I'll see you there. Have a nice day, and please hit the like button. Bye.